Hello everybody! I have returned from the depths of wherever. It's your boy Kinger. Even though it doesn't look like it, I'm actually Steve at the moment. Um, I actually don't have internet right now, but if you're seeing this video then woohoo! Then I have internet. So today in this video I am going to be showing you how to make an automated brewing stand. And we are going to jump into my Let's Play world. And I will show you. Yes, I'm not doing this in creative, even though I'm in creative right now. But I'm actually going to do it in survival because it seems that most tutorials these day, these days, excuse me, they like to be in creative mode to do it, and it's just a real quick rush, simple, easy way to do it. And I try to follow along with them, and they're just a little too fast. But uh, yeah. I'll, I'll go step by step with you, so let's jump into my uh, Let's Play world. Ah, so here we are in our Let's Play world. By the way, this isn't my... This isn't actually my base anymore. Um, I did tons more things in my in my world off camera while I was absent for all those, uh, all those months. But we are finally back in my Let's Play world, and I'm going to show you the tutorial. Um, the materials you are going to need is one brewing stand. Oh, I just fell. I'm looking down at my notes, and I'm walking at the same time. So let's just take a shortcut down here. Woo. Okay, so you are going to need one brewing stand. Let's see if I can even got my stuff. Okay, I've got my stuff. I got too much junk on me right now, so I was, I was busy doing other st stuff off camera, and yeah. But anyways, you're going to need one brewing stand, one redstone torch, one dropper, two chests, three item hoppers, three redstone repeaters, and six redstone dust. So I'm just going to go and get my ingredients, and I will meet you over there. Okay, guys, so we are inside the... The depths, the deep depths of my cave. Actually, we're not really that deep. We're only just underneath where we were. All right, so now we are here, not too far, in our potion, uh, potion, potion, potion room, or lab, whatever you prefer to call it. And this is what I have uh, set up so far. I've been working on this for a little while. Um, obviously needs a refill with the, uh, awkward potion, with bo water bottle, and all this. I'll show you what, what it looks like. Here's what it looks like back here. My first redstone project. Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, you have no idea how badly I wanted to make some redstone in my world, and, or redstone stuff in my world, and now I finally did it, and, oh, I'm so proud. But I actually got this off someone off on YouTube. I can't remember who. But if I find out, I will give the person credit in the description. Yeah, this is actually a pretty simple build, so let's get to it. I've already got, actually, I've already got one here set up. I'm trying to figure out how to set this up. So maybe, uh, I'm thinking this row would be splash potions, but I've already got, like, one set up right there. So anyways, you're going to need to put your chest, first off, put your chest here. This will be your main uh, potion storage inventory area let me just eat some food okay and the next thing you're going to need to do is left shift click and that means you're going to hold down the the left shift down while right clicking on the chest to connect the hopper into the to the chest that way it goes through and then it gets dropped off there or some of you may have already known that, but if not, there you go, you're welcome. New trick. Next up, your brewing stand, same thing. Left shift, click, and another uh, hopper up here. Right shift, click, and actually, you're going to need one more hopper here because you're going to need, um, let's see, how did I do this? You're also going to need to put a hopper in front here because your bottles are going to go into the into your potion here. I'm actually going to steal a hopper here. Oh, I've already got one set up right here. Actually, 
for the time being I'm just gonna steal this one it's not even set up so not set up yet I'm just I was just trying to figure out how I'm just gonna make room for it but I'm already clearing some room but anyway um, let's see let's go up some more actually let's just use the pillars let's go up I guess doesn't matter you don't have to follow my build your potion build room lab is totally up to you it's your decision decision to make you don't even have to follow along with my build um, the redstone however if you want to make it automated yeah you could follow along to this by all means that's why I'm making this tutorial and what am I looking for oh yeah my chest so put your chair right shift click left shift click so you can put your uh, glass bottles in there Let's see where are my hoppers I'm out of hoppers nope put another hopper right there left shift click Put your dropper right here. Actually, we'll make it go this way because it's going to face towards me if I do it that way. I'll put one more block here. Same deal, right shift click. There you go. That's good. your ingredients, your fuel or whatever. Your uh, blaze powder will go into there. Okie dokie. So if your potion, if your brewing, your brewing station looks like this so far, then congrats. Um, if not, I'll wait for you guys to catch up. Let me just clear all this so you guys can get an idea. So I'll go through it again. Your chest here, your inventory storage. Uh, left shift click on this hopper. Like so, it will connect to the chest. Put your brewing stand on top by left shift and clicking. That way, uh, as soon as you're, uh, well, sh I'll explain to you after, because as soon as you do this, actually I'll show you right now, all your awkward potions automatically get dispensed into here, and here's your, your uh, ingredients, your fuel, and then as soon as this is ready, just with the push of a button, all automatically gets transported in here, waits for the, n and puts the next three uh, water bottles in there. And that's the potion of swiftness. So I'll do this again. See, there it goes. They all put it in there automatically, and that starts the new uh, and starts making more potions. So, yeah. So you're going to want to put another hopper here in front, so facing that way, and another chest here, and then connect a the hopper down to here. That's where your ingredients are going to drop. So you put your ingredients into here. It will transport to here, there. And yeah. All right. So, if you guys have caught up, then that's great. So we shall proceed. Let's see, put it up like this. Oh yeah, you're also going to need a couple of buttons too. I forgot to add that in. So that should be easy to do. All you need is some oak logs or acacia, whatever kind of log you have, it will do. Oak, plank, and then there you go. You got yourself a button. Now, what do I need here? What is next? What is next? So, for the redstone, I'm running out of stone bricks, so let's make some more stone bricks. So, we are going to do the redstone part now this looks a little funny oh yeah so you're also going to need to put a block here let's cover all this up like so maybe put one more layer here why not okay do this and make sure you have a roof like this too and uh, that should be everything. Let's make a staircase right here so I can get down. Alrighty then. So we'll start from the bottom. Um, let me get my buttons. So the first thing you want to do, put your oak button, whatever kind of button you have. I think you can have different kind of buttons. I'm not too sure. Um, 
If not, then they should uh, make different kind of buttons because that would be pretty cool and instead of just an oak button. But I haven't tried it out yet, so maybe I'll just try it out after. So anyway, enough of my rambling and blab blabbering around here. Let's put your wooden button here. Redstone torch here always should be there because as soon as you press it, power goes through into this block. Uh, connects to this torch. The torch sends block above it. Uh, sends power above that block. Also, you're gonna need to put your redstone dust here, which will power the block ahead of it. I believe it's this one. Yeah, so it will power the this redstone dust powers will send power through this block up into this dropper and every time you press the button that should activate or shoot one of the uh ingredients out. Okay. And then you're going to want to go up here and Redstone dust there, redstone dust here, and here. Doesn't matter, you don't even have to put one here. And then you're going to want to put a repeater here, another repeater here, and a repeater here. And then put your two redstone dust under here like so. And put a block right here so this can get powered on because if you face it this way no power gets through to this one because power is blocked uh, I, which I like the feature so no power goes through here so it doesn't interfere with this so it doesn't do like a big loop I guess if you can see so that's why this block is here so this right here goes through here sends power to this which only powers to here and I guess it will just connect to this I just don't know what the purpose of this. So, I don't know. Maybe it does matter. Or maybe I just did the, I didn't follow along correctly and I goofed something up, but I don't know. Either way, um, actually these should be lit up. So, if these aren't lit up like the rest of them, like see that over there, that should be lit up. If that doesn't light up, that's okay. Just do that, it should come on, and then put the repeater back, and there you go. Also, I like to set these to 4, because that way the ingredients won't jump in all the time. So, and yeah, that's all you gotta do. And then you put your, when you're ready, you put your ingredients, like your, for example, you're just getting started, you put your nether wart in there to convert your water into, uh, into an awkward potion. So, if I push the button here... That sends all, the, all these into here. That will activate. I know it's a big mess and it's, it's a confusing mess here. But uh, it will send power through, through this block to the torch. Which should power that redstone. I think it's supposed to power the balloon stand. I'm not too sure exactly. But anyway, it should send power through here. Actually, maybe we should just... I'll do this. Make it easier. Oh, that's probably going to get uh, destroyed soon. Ouch. There it goes. I'll fix it after. No big deal. So with just the hit of a button, if I can hit it, come on. There we go. This goes off. And that should power that. It should shoot another wart through here and yeah so congratulations if your uh, brewing stand looks the w uh, looks the way that mine looks then give yourself a pat on the back that's an achievement for you and I'm glad you followed along and yeah any uh, any problems any any other uh, tutorial requests just comment below and if you like this video uh, do comment and like and all that. Um, but anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this tutorial Let's Play video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, like, it's, like this video. 
if you do like it, obviously. And comment below if you have any more, if you want more suggestions, more tutorials, or if you want another video. So, this is Kinger and Steve saying goodbye.